Hello Virgo and welcome to your October 2020 tarot forecast. We have a lot going on in October. We have two full moons, one on the 1st, one on the 31st, plus we have Mercury going retrograde on the 13th, okay? So there's going to be a lot of energy going on. Um, it's going to be intense. It's going to be heavy, you know, for everybody personally, as well as things playing out in the world. However, there is positives in all this energy as well, because full moons bring forth manifestation, right? And Mercury retrograde brings back unfinished business okay and that could be you know um, dreams goals uh, past relationships different circumstances you know things that have a second chance there's more to be gained okay or maybe it's time to finally receive closure so let's see what's going on for you guys Virgo we're gonna start by pulling two cards to see what spirits are working the closest with you guys in October because we also have the sun moving into the sign of Scorpio on the 22nd so the veil is thinning Scorpio is eighth house which is all about transformation Okay, a hunter of honor. So this is an earth spirit that is coming in strong in October to help you manifest, Virgo, manifest something that you really, really desire. And a hunter of honor, this guide is going to, you know, prompt you intuitively different actions you need to take that will be in your highest good, leading you towards what it is that you desire the most. So you have a spirit guide working with you in October to bring forth beautiful manifestations, Virgo. Next is the Ancestor of Guidance. So you have some passed on loved ones and some ancestors also coming in to work with you in the month of October. And with this guidance, Virgo, this runs very, very deep. You have been putting questions out to the universe. You know, this is a general reading, so those questions are different, um, are different coming from each of you. But your passed on loved ones, your ancestors coming in strong in October because the veil is thinning to bring you those answers um, to the deeper, bigger questions questions that you've been putting out there this is it goes deeper than you know um will i be rich someday will i this someday this is like about the soul wisdom of the soul a deep deep question um it's attached to some evolution that you're going to receive in the month of october as well so let's pull a card for overall energy Oh, yes, victory, Virgo manifestation for Virgo and this uh, guidance from your ancestors your loved ones is going to help you um, release some blocked spiritual or emotional energy or mental energy okay so victory I shall celebrate and I shall rise I will let victory make me wise look at that Virgo yeah it's time for manifestation. It's time for you to feel rewarded, recognized, something to go your way. Um, some of you, this could be a major accomplishment, a step up in some area of your life as well, okay? Um, but you have this spirit guide that has been projecting all this energy towards you to help you achieve this and also giving you intuitive promptings on different things to do, to say, actions to take. And then your loved ones and your ancestors really trying to help release this uh, stuck energy within you around these certain questions and for many of you with the cup here it's um, emotional energy okay so let's pull you some tarot
Okay, so five of pentacles. Yeah, just it's like you can't win for trying sometimes, right? And uh, it's like I've been doing everything I could possibly think of and nothing is changing here. Yeah, Seven of Cups coming out next, dreaming, wishing, um, fantasizing, hopes, wishes. Uh, and now we have the Page of Cups, and it's finally coming into fruition here, Virgo. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, you, uh, you've really been feeling like you are spinning your wheels, especially um, emotionally and physically. Page of Pentacles, nice, you got two pages coming through. Four of Wands, Stability coming in, Six of Cups, nice, and Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so your reading, um, all but one card, Virgo, is uh, Earth and Water energy. Okay, so it's really about um, emotional balance to allow the manifestation to finally happen. Okay, and for some of you, um, that have been just, you know, really trying hard, doing everything that you can think of, it's, you weren't quite ready for it, okay? And that's why it's like, no matter what you do, it's like, oh, I just can't seem to make this work. Or every time I feel like I get a step up, it's like, um, I feel I'm back to square one because of the way, you know, things shift and change and the circumstances. And you've been learning a lot, okay? Um, ancestor of Guidance, wisdom, victory. I I will let victory make me wise. That's what's happening here, Virgo. That's that evolution I was feeling. Like you've been working quite a bit, um, either with the emotional body, um, and that could be about relationships because we do have the page of cups here. And others of you, this is really learning to harness and control and direct your emotional energy to create like the manifestation in the physical realm in the 3D that you so deeply desire, okay? So you've learned a lot, Virgo, and through these full moons in October, you're gonna come into that realization with the help of your loved ones and ancestors, but also uh, I feel where in the past you've been stuck in this Five of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles energy, okay, with this Mercury retrograde coming in, it's bringing things back from the past, okay? Um, past offers, opportunities, past dreams, goals, desires, um, past relationships for some of you, okay? And um, it's going to bring that energy back in the month of October, and it gives you the opportunity to make a different choice this time around, okay? Because with that Eight of Pentacles, it's like this energy returns to you and you're gonna see it differently. You're gonna handle it differently, which is gonna create an entire different outcome than in the past, all right? And it's very positively aspected for you. So it's like the what you've gained and the, the way you've grown when this energy returns to you in October, you handle it much differently which allows it to anchor into the earth plane and it's solid and like a, a new journey begins here okay so virgo shift in like material abundance the 3d world as well as shift in the emotional body which is bringing stability within as well as without um with this four of wands Okay, so um, I see finances maybe being a bit of a struggle for some of you and um, emotions being a bit of a struggle for you or it could be a combination of the two for some of you. And now, you know, your ancestors, your loved ones coming in, bringing you into that higher understanding, that higher perspective, which answers deep seated questions that you've had. Okay, and you evolve, you transform into your wisdom and from there, energies return to you and you make a new choice which brings forth a lot of stability and solidity in your life past definitely returning though um i'm going to pull some some cards on that because we have the page of cups and the six of cups so this is like somebody coming in offering you like an apology 
okay like I'm sorry do you forgive me and you have the cup here and the page of cups is holding the cup so it's like somebody wants to offer you their cup um, also somebody may want to offer you like a commitment a gift okay um, this some of you could have uh, you know lost your job and now in October it's like maybe that job is coming back to you okay or um, maybe you had put in some applications in the month of September and you didn't hear anything you didn't hear anything you didn't hear anything and all of a sudden this place is gonna finally call you so some of you I do see this being around a job and it is attached to the past and it's coming into the now and now is the time that it will bear fruit for you okay Others of you, definitely a relationship showing back up. And I would say new, but this isn't new. Not with that Six of Cups. Three of Cups, Reunion, Judgment, yeah, I can't forget you, Virgo, and Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So um, this clarifier stayed right on point with your energy, cups and pentacles, right? And what sits in between that is the judgment, the second chance, and this time it bears fruit through this Ace of Pentacles, okay? So the past returning, whether person job dream goal desire energy of the past that did not bear fruit no matter how hard you tried now you are ready for what you were asking for you have the wisdom you have the experience through this eight of pentacles so the time is now now it will bear fruit in the month of october okay so very positive um a lot of healing guidance and understanding coming to the emotional body as well as 3d matters um money matters and there's going to be a beautiful beautiful shift for you virgo look at that and um so as far as like a, a relationship returning to you with these being the clarifiers that tells me that this is for a second chance you both have grown and evolved at the soul Okay, you both have. And that's why the universe is bringing you back together for whatever is to come. Okay, there's a, a, a new energy, another chance. We're starting at the beginning again, but with the wisdom that we have gained upon the journey up to this point, whereas this was absent in the past. Okay, and so that's why, you know, when uh, this comes back in, whatever this represents, that's why you're going to make a different choice this time is because you've really grown and evolved at the soul. And now it's like it's time for um, things to bear fruit in your life, for your blessings to come in, Virgo. So that is so positive. Let's pull a card to look specifically at the Aries full moon on the 1st, the Taurus full moon on the 31st, and Mercury retrograde on the 13th and how that's impacting you. I mean, we see it here. Finally getting some answers. Finally having some things manifest. And uh, some things of the past returning. So with the Aries full moon, nice, look at that, manifestation. And that's what this spirit guide is here to help you with, is to manifest. And we do see materialization through all these pentacles, okay? Um, and in the past, it's like you couldn't win for trying, and now it's like the time is ripe. It's, it, it's time for you. Your energy is in alignment with these moons, okay? And the Aries full moon is bringing forth manifestation, especially around like money, job, ideas, goals, okay? Oh, look at that. The Taurus full moon is bringing you blessings, Virgo. And look at, see, big full moon on both of these cards, and we're asking about the full moon. And now, Mercury retrograde bringing you empowerment. So, this 
Mercury retrograde energy the past and, and next would actually be career I'm going to keep that out Virgo because um, I am feeling strongly you know money career for some of you but this empowerment with Mercury retrograde that is the past returning to you Virgo in some capacity and it's like now you're you're going to make a different choice which creates a different outcome or now it returns to you because now is the time that it can actually bear fruit for you okay so mercury retrograde is a very positive thing for virgo in the energies that it's returning back to you okay and the full moons are bringing you manifestation and blessing um especially around like relationships as well as career Okay, so good things coming to Virgo, and um, I see that you've felt very restricted and stuck in the past, so this does feel like a blessing to you, a cup being offered to you, a pentacle being offered to you, which creates um, a sense of stability within yourself as well as externally, and you're wise, Virgo. You're going to really evolve and expand your consciousness into that wisdom. And you'll know by the end of the month what I'm talking about. You're just going to see things from a much different perspective because of the way everything has unfolded and played out for you in the month of October. Okay, so uh, beautiful blessings coming in with these full moons. Mercury retrograde empowering you. The sun moving into Scorpio is allowing, you know, beautiful transformation, starting you like on a new journey here. So let's pull you some advice. The elements, the elements of fire, air, and earth and water combine to create powerful protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. Wow. All the aspects of you, all the energies coming into alignment for Virgo in October. Okay, so enjoy this moment, Virgo. You are super blessed and, you know, do not discount anything because your past on loved ones are really trying to communicate with you and guide you and answer your questions in October. The veil is thinning, so you'll be much, much more aware of them and this spirit guide directing their energy to help you manifest and make magic. So those are your messages, Virgo. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.